course, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com, and I have the first of our Take Three cards for March, and the stamp set that I'm using today is Sending Sunshine. Um, this was one that's been sitting on my shelf, and I'm so glad that I got it out because it is quite fun, and um, we're going to make a, a very simple little masculine birthday card or, you know, get well card, um, <laughs> cheer you up kind of card. So this is pretty simple to put put together. So I use the World of Good designer paper. I wanted my, my background to look a little um, vintage or a little, um, you know, kind of like an old fashioned postcard. So I used the World of Good designer paper. I used Balmy Blue um, Early Espresso. And then um, on the inside, I have a, um, a very vanilla. Now, um, if you are part of my rewards club, um, the color that we chose to work with this month was terracotta tile. And those of you that are part of my rewards club will get one of those this month. Um, so let's go ahead and put this one together. Um, and I'll give you a couple little tips with it. So I started with the, um, the balmy blue and I found that it worked the best. Um, it's got two different, um, it's got two different water, um, features or water stamps. One of them is a bigger one. One of them is smaller. And so what I found worked the best um, here at class was if we stamped off the bigger one, um, just so that it gave it a little more um, distinction between the two. So I did the balmy blue there. And then the trick is to line up um, that opening on both of them. Uh, not too bad. So that is what your little your water is going to look like. Set those aside for a second. Um, then I use terracotta tile for the sunset. Now, one of the tricks that I was telling my stampers was to go ahead and there's a little tiny line in that sun. Um, that is supposed to be where your horizon is sitting. So what I had them do was practice on the stamped off one because um, for some reason um, we have a tendency to stamp that a lot higher than what it's supposed to be. So there we go. Not too bad. All right. So now I am going to add some of the clouds um, in the background. I stamped this one and then I turned it around and stamped off a little bit. Um, same thing with this one. I think I stamped this one off right away too. Okay. So that is our sunset. I used the early espresso to stamp the hoping your day is perfect. And we're going to bring that down there in the lower left corner and we are going to use the um, tree and stamp it with early espresso and I'm going to do that twice and then I'm going to wash the stamp because I want to give it a shadow of terracotta tile because what it does then is it looks like the terracotta you know the sun is shining on the terracotta tile so I just went ahead and kind of offset that second one so again it looks like the sun is shining on that so all right I used a just a post-it note here to mask my C and then using one of our blending brushes here, I am just going to color the background so that, it, oops, that was a little bit much, but oh well, we'll move it around. The trick to these is to start off and move onto the paper so that if you have any of those heavy blooches like that, um, it will be on this paper and not on your so there is our sunset. I think that looks pretty nice. We are going to add that to the balmy blue. Lining that up. All right, then um, I went ahead and cut a few pieces of this um, 
the birchwood paper. This is paper that is um, in the Butterfly Brilliance suite of products that are current right now um, as a promotion. Um, it's fairly expensive, um, but the thing is, is you don't need much of it. I just have a little schnibble of it, and I'm just going to cut it in half. It looks and feels like really, really thin birch paper, so it's, it's pretty fun. Um, but don't feel like you have to go crazy with it. Um, I just used a little bit of it, cut it in half, because you're not going to see all of that in the center. I'm covering it with my, my layer of balmy blue. So again, you know, you wouldn't want to have, you wouldn't have to waste that much. I have some leftover bakers trying from various projects. So I have some of it in the Calypso Coral, is it Calypso? Not Calypso Coral. Um, uh, oh, I can't even remember what this color was. It's too early in the morning. Um, Grapefruit Grove, ha, ah, there we go. Grapefruit Grove or the um, Terracotta Tile here. So I'm just using some of that up. And I'm gonna slide that around here. Make that look decent. And then we're just gonna add our, hoping your day is perfect. I went ahead and made this into a birthday card. Add some dimensionals to pop that off. Don't forget your take your pick tool works really well for taking those dimensional backings off. Okay, and we're just going to add that right here for your card. All right, and then on the inside, I think I used the happy birthday and the terracotta. Um, I think I did that. Let's look. I did that in the early espresso. So let's stamp the happy birthday here. And let's do the inhale, exhale, enjoy. And we are going to repeat the process with the leaves. This time I'm just gonna start with the terracotta tile because I didn't wash it yet. <laughs> Let's add the espresso there. And that will be added to the inside of your card. So this is the outside, the inside, and that is the first of March's Take Three. Now, if you want information about my rewards club, um, contact me or um, leave a question here on my my uh, YouTube or the, the blog. Um, whatever works for you. So thanks again, stampers. Have a great day and toodles.